Ever since I was young, guy, I always love Bape. And it's taken 23 years to finally get my first item of Bape. And I want to give you guys a review because Bape is expensive. Bape is not cheap. And it's about £100 for a t-shirt. And that is way, way, way overpriced. So I thought it'd be a good idea. As I've bought my first piece, whether it's worth it, and what kind of quality you're gonna expect if you're looking to buy yourself an item with Bape. So first things first with Bape, whether you're buying a t-shirt, a sweatshirt or anything, it usually comes in this see-through clear a Bave and Ape bag with a Bave and Ape branding printed on top. And this is really, really, really good for me. You know I like my packaging. You know I like my packaging. And this is just really, really cool. It's just that extra touch, that extra something bit special, the extra feeling you get. I'm buying something really good here because it comes with these extra little bits. I went for myself is the classic a Bave and Ape t-shirt with the Japanese writing over the top of a Bave and Ape. I really, really like this t-shirt. It really stood out for me. And I like the fact that it was just the, like the original normal colored um, normal colored ape and just a white baby ape and it's got that orange Japanese writing over the top. I really, really like this piece. I was quite surprised to see it in store, but when I saw it, I thought this is probably the perfect first piece I'll get. Just a nice t-shirt that just looks really, really cool. The price is expensive. Bape is not cheap. It is not cheap. <laughs> this t-shirt costs 90 pounds retail, which is a hell of a lot of money. But I was thinking, am I actually getting good quality for the money? And the answer to that is, yeah, I feel like this is really, really, really good quality. It feels like it's gonna last a long time. I look on Famous Grail, I look on eBay, I look on StockX, and people are still selling Bape t-shirts from early 2000s, which clearly says to me that it's a vintage piece. This piece is gonna last for a few years, and maybe I'll look back in a few years and it might be worth something because they might discontinue the, the Bape, they might discontinue the style and it could hold its value for that long too. And for anything that holds its value is a good investment for me. So you could say £100 is very, very expensive for a t-shirt, but I'm not buying a t-shirt that isn't gonna hold its value. There's a possibility that this could. I'm not saying it's guaranteed, but there's a possibility it could. It does seem really, really thick, and it does seem like it's gonna last a long time. The quality is 1 million percent there. It is really, really good, and I promise you that. The fit. The fit of this t-shirt, it fits absolutely perfectly. The perfect fit I could ever ask for in a t-shirt is here. It's not too long. The neckline is perfect. The sleeves are so good, they're perfect. Everything is perfect about the fit of Bape t-shirts, which is another reason why I absolutely love them. The fit is absolutely there. Along with the fit, Bape t-shirts do fit a little bit tight. I had to go for an XL, and I'm usually a medium to large. But on this piece, I had to get an XL, which uh, just tells me that it does fit quite, it's kind of tight. So if you want, if you're looking to buy a Bape t-shirt and you watch my video and you're like, you know, Jay's, Jay has, he's convinced me, man. I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna buy a Bape t-shirt. Just very, be very careful. There's usually a changing room about, just, just be very careful about fitting. If you're gonna buy it online, again, be very, very careful. I would say just go up a size. If you wear a medium, just get a large, just to be on the safe side. Printing on this t-shirt is absolutely 1 million percent amazing quality. Like I said in the other video, you can tell printing, I don't advise doing it, but you can tell good quality printing if you just stretch the print um, and if it like breaks apart, you know that it's, it ain't gonna last that like, years. It ain't gonna last very, very long. It's probably gonna kind of crack quite easily. You can even tell by looking at it, the printing is absolutely amazing. Really, really, really good. The quality of the t-shirt is really good. It fits perfectly. I would just say go up a size. Everything about this t-shirt is amazing. But does it still warrant 90 pound for a t-shirt? It is very, very expensive. Don't get me wrong, it is very, very expensive. But it is an expensive brand. Bape has, has, has done wonders on its own um, in terms of publicity, in terms of streetwear. It's done absolutely amazing. So 90 pound, it is a bit steep but people don't hesitate to pay 70 pounds for a Supreme t-shirt. And I think Bape is definitely on that same level. But guys, I'm in love with this t-shirt. I just wanted to let you guys know how it fits, whether it's worth it, and if you're looking to get a Bape t-shirt, then here's all the uh, all the knowledge you need to actually get that t-shirt. But guys, I hope I helped you in this video. If you did like the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to me for more videos, and guys, I will see you soon on the next one. Peace.